threat to our democracy. Uh, the president has been clear as he can be on that particular uh, piece when we talk about a democracy, when we talk about our freedoms. Uh, the way that he sees is the MAGA Republicans are the most energized part of the Republican Party. Uh, the, that extreme, this is an extreme threat to our democracy, to our freedom, uh, to our rights. You know, when you ask me about the mega agenda, especially as it relates to Congress, as it relates to elected officials, uh, it is one of the most extreme agendas that we have seen. Does the president believe that the effort to restrict abortion, whether it's at the local level or the federal level, to restrict that freedom, does he believe that that is semi-fascist? I mean, he was very clear. He was very clear that uh, mega re Republicans Republicans in Congress have an agenda that is extreme, and that's what you hear from them. Some criticism, which has been brought up, that this aggressive tone is also stoking the divisiveness that he's trying to heal. Any concerns about that? You know, the president's never going to shy away from calling out what he sees. Defendants all aflame that lit our way through abolition, the Civil War, suffrage, the Great Depression, world wars, civil rights. That sacred flame still burns. Now in our time, as we build an America that is more prosperous, free and just, that is the work of my presidency, a mission I believe in with my whole soul. But first, we must be honest with each other and with ourselves. Too much of what's happening in our country today is not normal. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. Now, I want to be very clear, very clear up front. <clears throat> Not every Republican, not even the majority of Republicans are MAGA Republicans. Not every Republican embraces their extreme ideology. I know because I've been able to work with these mainstream Republicans. But there's no question that the Republican Party today is dominated, driven, and intimidated by Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans. And that is a threat to this country. These are hard things, but I'm an American president. What's interesting about this when he, as you described, used the word semi-fascism to describe the MAGA philosophy this week. Let's go back to March when he was in Poland. He said of Vladimir Putin that he couldn't stay in power, and that became controversial. The White House, you know, backpedaled on that, walked that back. There's no backpedaling on this. It's clear that there's a more aggressive strategy. We talked about the way that they were handling the debate over student loans. Do you think the he actually soft-pedaled it? Do you think someone said you should say fascism, and he said, I'm going to say semi-fascism? When I spoke to Age, this wasn't in a, this wasn't a teleprompter. Yeah. Speech. This is what he's been thinking. They right. say he said it out loud. This was done not on camera. But it did, it fires up Democrats. It juices up the base because they want to see him be more aggressive on that. But it also does, you know, it does become problematic because, you know, this is Here's, a guy who said he wanted to be a unifier. Here's well, there you have it, folks. Biden, the dictator, as I've always stated and said for since he's been in office, completely trying to control people's lives. And now he's really trying to divide us even more. Go figure. This man is has so filled of hate, really acting like he's part of the uh, uh, he's Hitler. I mean the the theme and everything kind of fits it, right? The reason why some people are calling him the uh, pedo Hitler because uh, uh, he's obviously uh, addressed a lot of major things. Let me address to you something, Biden, that so you can fucking understand, which I don't think you care anyways. But I'm going to say it. Majority of people do not go for you. Majority of people do not vote for you. Majority of people don't like you. You have caused a massive divisiveness in this country. And you have caused massive issues into our country. What you have just done is pretty much said the entire base of Republicans is a divisive, divisive, hateful group of people. That we want to take away people's rights. That we want to uh, eradicate everybody, and that's not true. That is far from the truth. Here's the thing what I think what you guys are afraid of, and it's probably reality hitting in. It's that 
You guys are really afraid that you're going to lose the great power that you once had. Because when you guys when you guys lost in 2016 to Donald Trump, you realized all the power that you had. Now, you were calm and collected for most of the year, but then you started realizing very shortly that uh, your power seems to be dwindling away very slowly. And you start ra ramping up the, uh, the efforts ever so much. And now this is, uh, now you've gone to this stage because you realize that you're most likely not going to win. You are trying to incite a civil war. And that's what I don't, that's what I don't agree with. You say that you don't want, that you wanted unity, you are going to unify. This is anything but unification. This is divisiveness at the highest order. And this is by your fault. People that voted for Biden, you voted for this shit. And I have no sympathy for you people at all. Because when you voted for these type of, for this man, you, vo you voted for this type, of, uh, this type of divisiveness that is horribly going to destroy this potential of this country. And he has pretty much incited a civil war because of his statements. It is absolutely disgusting that this man is even in office. I'm not even going to bring up the votes or anything. I don't care about anything about that. The fact that he's trying to divide people to this extent is, is, is insanity in itself. He's an evil man. He's been showing that he's an evil man. And there's nothing that is going to try to defy this type of reasoning. I sat and wait for three minutes, and there's so many more information coming out that I will be posting here on this YouTube, on this on this video throughout. But I am standing away from three minutes just to get my rant, and you guys just really see the, the the anger and the frustration that I have. The fact that we you want to do this. When I say Democrats are doing something, I am doing that to divide the country because to point out that's what they're doing. When I see Republicans doing shit, I t I talk about them do. I don't like what Ted Cruz says. Ted Cruz says stuff, and I don't like some of the laws that some of the Republicans are putting into place. I think it's asinine. But Biden is what we call a Hitler. He is a he is a what we call a fascist. He is what we call a dictator. He's trying to dictate everybody's lives and say what is what's not true. Again, you're an evil man, Biden. You're disgusting. Not everybody is like this. And the majority of people are against you. So what are you going to do? Go after every single one of us? Have fun with that because Americans don't agree with you. You're an evil son of a bitch. And I will not let that go. Here's some more, uh, some more information about uh, the actual uh, issues that are portraying here. And it's not good either. If you turn on the television and... Washington, D.C., and saw a mob of a thousand people storming down the hallways of the parliament, breaking down the doors, trying to overturn an outcome of election, and killing several police officers in the meantime. Imagine. Imagine. Biden, that is not exactly what happened, and you know damn well that's not what happened. Um, there were uh, police officers that there was one police officer that was uh, killed in that aftermath, which was horribly unfortunate. Um, he was trampled. I may believe that's what happened. And uh, the other man got injured, but he was okay. He did not die. Um, and it was also one of the police officers that killed a single person there. That's exactly what happened. We know that's what happened. You're spouting lies again. Um, there was no type of guns or anything necessary there at all, period. Because the only people that had guns was the government officials, believe it or not. So nobody had guns. The only person that died was Ashley Babbitt, which was the only person that died, which was a U.S. veteran. And she ended up dying by a police officer. For no reason. So I don't know why exactly you're lying here. Because, uh, well, I know why you're a dictator and you're a piece of shit garbage human, but I digress. But you're lying. Let's take another look at this clip. And it's also full of lies, as always. Again, we see majority of Americans who disagree. And so when you are not with where majority of Americans are, then, you know, that is extreme. That is an extreme way of thinking. I'm not going to, that's what I. All right. <sighs> Again. She's lying. Uh, little does she seem to know that uh, 
uh, that reality is does not really speak for her, or what she, she wants or want to pay out lies. But not ma but majority of the people do not agree with your type of stuff. Majority of the people do not agree with you. All right, so there's that. Second off, uh, let's take a look here. See this? General belief abortion should be legal plummets after first trimester. See, this is the type of thing. This is the type of thing that I'm talking about. We. It, we can see here that the legal first three months is 60%, the legal second three months is 26%, and the legal, legal last three months is 13%. Majority of people do not agree with the last three months or even the last second, last second three months. So I don't know where you're getting this majority from, but that's a lie. Now, let's jump on to the next thing, to where, like, where to, like, the polls, where it said, current poll, would you like to see Donald Trump run for president in 2024 or not? Republican voters. July 18, yes, say 69%, no, said 27%. August 29, uh, yes, 72%, no, 25%. It increased, by the way. It increased, uh, it's uh, like, over the course of a couple of months, all right? Then we have this as well. We had, would you favor or oppose the government for giving up for for giving up to ten thousand in federal student loan debt if for giving ten thousand borrowed raise your taxes? Support thirty six percent. Oppose sixty four percent. Support suppose Democrats Democrats fifty six fifty forty four GOP nineteen eighty one and ND it's thirty seventy. You're lying to us. We know you're lying to us. Stop with the bullshit. The Americans are fed up. And I'll be damned if Joe Biden starts a civil war because I'll be beyond pissed. I do not want to go out and kill people. I do not want to go out and actively go hunt down my own brethren. No, I do not want to do that. That is not something I want. That is not something I want to do at all. Stop causing terror and ma'am. You have caused major issues in this country. And... You have caused massive problems in our country. Now, we look at the Joe Biden polls. And we see exactly on how bad they are. So, we have Joe Biden polls from pretty much essentially what I would say. Uh, uh, from what I see. And then we'll have... Uh, uh, 2022, because you'll see that the polls have, uh, uh, are quite not great for him. So, let's look at here. So, what we see here, and I will move, try to move this out of the way. There you go, guys. So, what you see here specifically is that percent of small business owners who are experiencing, you know, all this crazy rise in prices and stuff like that. This is the rise in prices, but we want to see the uh, uh, this. This is the big deal here. This is the money breaker. Do you approve or disapprove of the way Joe Biden is handling his job as president? Sixty-seven percent disapprove. Thirty-two percent. Approve. Well, that's not good. He's also... Uh, so, that being said, I don't know how the majority of people think of this, but everybody hates Biden. I don't know where people are want to really go with this other than everybody think that you think he's this great man. No. You're lying to yourself. Trying to lie to the American people and I'm tired of this. It needs to stop. And the only way to stop is vote, go out and vote and fight against this tyranny and this dictatorship. We know what's to come, and we have to stop. No violence, just the right way. Hopefully we don't lead to civil war, because this will be all by this fault. All right, guys, as always, like, share, subscribe, and take care. Fight against tyranny. Fight against dictatorship.
for your loved ones.